Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Mayas webinar. I see we don't have any visitors yet, but today we will be doing a focus activity for levels eight to 10 on childhood. Okay, I just want to make sure if we have any visitors, you can hear me. Mm, well, I don't have anybody visiting yet. So, uh, my name is Elizabeth or Liz. I'm from Sydney, Australia, and that is why I'm the koala shepherd today. Uh, I have two children. Hey, hi, Ladia. Hi. <laughs> Can you hear me? Is everything clear? Just let me know if everything's okay because I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I have two children, two boys, uh, Harry and Oscar. Uh, I'm a teacher at Mayas Livorno. Oh, hi. Hi, Fabio. La Fabio. I'll just call you Fabio. Hi, Gabriella. Excellent, excellent. So we can hear me and we can see me. Perfect. Uh, yes. Okay. So I work uh, for, I live in uh, uh, Livorno or Leghorn, as we like to say in English. And I work at my Yes Livorno. Hello, hello, Annalisa. Hello, Cristina. Hello, Isabella. Isabella is from Palermo. Nice, very nice. I used to live in Calabria because my husband is from Calabria. So I have been all around Sicily. It's lovely. It's a very nice place. Yes, Livorno. Hi, Stefano. Hi, Stefano. Hi. <laughs> So yes, uh, just a few introductory questions. Uh, I was going to tell you that my favorite fruit is a mandarin and my favorite sport is baseball or softball. So could you tell me your favorite fruit and your favorite sport? We'll see what our answers look like. While I'm waiting for your responses, I will just tell you a bit more about myself. I have lived in Italy for uh, almost 10 years. Ah, oh, Sicily is amazing. Yes, agree. <laughs> almost 10 years. Uh, I love it here. The food is amazing, of course. <laughs> uh, I really enjoy uh, living by the sea here. In Livorno, the seaside here. If you haven't been here, it's a very beautiful and underrated city. Everybody thinks, oh, Tuscany, Pisa, Florence, uh, Lucca. Livorno is a hidden gem. <laughs> it's a good place. We have the port. Uh, we have, uh, actually, it's a, uh, it has, uh, what are they called? Uh, canals, like Venice. And we actually have a small area called Little Venice. Yeah, Venice. Yeah, yeah. They're Little Venice, and there are many pubs and restaurants in that area. Okay, my favorite food <laughs> is surely pizza. Uh, and I love boxing. It's a very educational sport with a big sense of respect. Interesting. Favorite sport is fencing. Oh, yes. The Livornese are big eh, in fencing. <laughs> My favorite food is octopus with potatoes, and my favorite sport is track and field. I knew that one. I knew that one. <laughs> yes, Ilaria is a very good long jumper. She's one of our students at Mayas Livorno. My favorite food is Italian food, but I love to eat salad, fish, and pizza. I mean, pizza is just one of the best foods in the world, I think. Hi, Alessandro from Rome. I've played volleyball for 10 years. Yeah, volleyball is a popular sport in Italy, I find. Hi, I'm Veronica from Bergamo. My favorite food is pasta with everything. I love swimming. I love the sea in general. Yeah, you Italians love the sea. They love to go swimming. I'm very uh, pale skinned, very white. And so staying for long amounts of time under the sun is uh, a bit dangerous for me. So I always get told in summer, hey, you don't have a tan, you need a tan. Ugh. I'm never going to get tan. If I go in the sun, I go pink, I don't get a tan. <laughs> so people find that weird. Uh, okay, 
looks like we can begin with our activity. I want you to be as involved as possible. So ask me any questions you need to ask. If you don't understand some vocabulary, please ask me and we'll work through this together. Okay, let's go. Hi, Lorenzo from Florence. I'm a fashion photographer and I love to listen to live music. Live music is great. Okay, so focus activity eight to 10 on childhood. Childhood, interesting. So we have childhood. In this focus activity, memory and childhood, talking about my childhood, our childhood, used to or would for past, and verbs and phrases for childhood. Okay, let's go. Memories. Uh, what is your earliest memory? Number two, do you remember much from your childhood? Number three, which sounds or smells remind you of moments from your childhood? And number four, do you ever feel nostalgic about your childhood? Okay, number one, let's answer number one. So you can answer any of the questions whenever you like. Let's try to be as involved as possible, not just listening to me speaking for the next 50, 45 minutes. <laughs> okay, number one, what is your earliest memory? I'll have to say, I'd have to say, Maybe when I was around four, three or four years old, I don't think I can remember anything before that. I used to go to my grandparents' house in the mountains and they had a fireplace and we would have a bath together, me and my cousins, we would have a bath together and then we would come out and dry ourselves in front of in front of the fire, which was a lovely experience because in the mountains it's very cold, so they needed a, a fireplace. Yes, it does get cold in Australia. I know many of you don't believe that. There's also snow in Australia. Yeah, it's not just hot and fires. <laughs> so let me know, what's your earliest memory? What can you think of? Tell me what your earliest memory is. Let's get involved in the questions. I'll continue and you can just write your answers in the chat and we'll talk about them as they come up. Um, okay, number two, do you remember much from your childhood? I, I'm not very good at remembering very specific things. Oh, okay, Fabio, my earliest memory, here we go. My earliest memory, I think it's when I played with my brother near our home. Very nice, excellent. So you have a brother, excellent. I have two sisters. Uh, I was mentioning, uh, do you remember much from your childhood? I'm not, yes, I'm not good at remembering specific things. I, I'm a bit of a forgetful person. But I remember having a great childhood in general. My parents were great. They allowed us to experience many things. Uh, we would often go camping. We went camping a lot because we had a camper van. Yes. So we would put the camper van on the back of the car, connect it, and just go, go anywhere. Uh, we would go swimming a lot, obviously, Australia, <laughs> Australians love to swim, we love to surf. I played many, many sports every weekend. We would play sports. Um, I would play, I played, uh, what did I play? Uh, soccer or football. I played baseball, I played softball, I played squash. I played netball, which is kind of in an Australian sport. It's similar to basketball, but you don't bounce the ball. Anyway, if you want to know about netball, you can Google it. <laughs> it's a weird sport. It doesn't exist in Europe, I don't think. Ilaria, my earliest memory is the first time I rode my bike without the little wheels. Uh -huh. I was two years old. Wow, that's really young. It was really nice to feel the wind on my face so fast. Two years old to learn how to ride without the, 
the wheels on your bike is very impressive. I'm impressed with that. Very good. Okay, here we have Isabella. My earliest memory is my father. He used to work until 6 p.m. and then he used to play with me all the time. We stayed on the carpet and invented many games, imitating, for example, the animal sounds. Very nice. Oh, that's cute. Very good. Uh, Fabio, I don't remember a lot of my childhood, but all of the memories I have are positive. Excellent. Wait, oh, you guys are writing a lot. I've had a very nice childhood. I don't know if this is my earliest memory, Lorenzo says, but when I was a child, I was with my father in the big mall and decided to push the red button to block the escalator. <laughs> and my father, okay, hit me. The past tense of hit is hit. And the past participle is hit too. So it's an irregular verb. But ah, okay. I remember my first day at kindergarten. It was terrible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wasn't happy to leave my mother's side either. And my earliest memory is when I was three years old and my father showed me the nursery when my little brother, oh, was just born. The strange coincidence is that there was also my wife in that nursery. Huh? <laughs> Alessandro, your wife in the nursery? I'm, I'm a bit confused by that. <laughs> You'll have to uh, explain it better to me, Alessandro. Okay, great, great. I love all of this participation. Thank you. Thank you for your answers. Uh, let's hide this. Okay. Number three, which sounds or smells remind you of moments from your childhood? Um, the sea. The fresh smell of the sea reminds me of Australia and going camping all of the time. Uh, when I hear birds chirping and making noise, there are so many different types of birds in Australia. And it just, I w remember waking up every morning to the sounds of parrots and birds chirping. So when I hear a bird chirp here, chirp, I'm saying chirp, by the way, bird chirp. It just makes me feel a bit happy inside to bird bird chirp. That's the noise that a bird makes to chirp. My wife and brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> My wife and brother were born at the same hospital. Okay, okay. I understand now. <laughs> Good. Uh, number four. Do you ever feel nostalgic about your childhood? So do you do you miss miss things from your childhood? The answer is yes. Of course. Uh, I had a great childhood, so I definitely miss some of the experiences that I had. I will say living in a different country from where I grew up makes things a bit difficult. Like you miss things more because you can't experience them when you're so far away. So being an expat is a bit difficult sometimes, and I do feel very nostalgic about my childhood because I had an excellent childhood. There, every Saturday smell of chocolate cake in my house. <laughs> Who wouldn't be happy when you have the smell of chocolate cake in your house? I agree. Uh, there is just a smell that reminds me of my child, my mother. Oh, the smell of my father's aftershave is the best memory I have. Excellent, Isabella. And Lorenzo, the, oh, the sounds and smells of the sea remind me of my childhood in Puglia from my grandparents. And the smell of a Christmas tree. Oh, that's another great one because I, a fresh Christmas tree, not a plastic one. Because growing up, we always had a real Christmas tree and it smelt amazing. That's a great one. Perfect. Okay. But let's move on. These were great introductory questions. Yeah, sometimes I feel nostalgic because when you are a child, it's different because you don't have, have responsibility and you live easier. Yeah, definitely. When my father played the trumpet. Good, good, excellent. Task two. When I grow up, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, work in pairs and see if you can guess the top 10. Okay, we can't work in pairs because <laughs> we're online. So what I want you to do is just write in the chat, what do you think could be some of the most popular, popular jobs that kids like to do when they grow up? Yes? So 
the pair with the most correct answer. Yeah, you, sorry, you don't win anything. <laughs> We're not uh, in the classroom, unfortunately. I remember the sound of bells. Okay, bells. Like from a church, a church bell. Nice, excellent. Francesca, when my father, oh, when my father played with a trumpet. So can you tell me what you think the top 10, top 10 jobs kids would like to do when they grow up? I feel nostalgic because I lived in a spontaneous and free way. Oh, being an adult is hard. <laughs> being an adult is hard. Okay, while you, yes, primary school teacher, while you think of the jobs, I'm going to read a quick article. Astronaut, good. This is just an article that describes what a little boy wanted to be when he grew up. So when I was a little boy, I dreamt of becoming a train driver before I changed my mind and decided on becoming a vet, then an architect, a singer, a teacher, and the list goes on and on and on. Eventually, I came to the conclusion that writing was my true calling. All right, we have firefighter, doctor, astronaut, teacher, singer, dancer, <laughs> teacher, astronaut, scientist, hostess, actor, actress, boxer, doctor, fashion designer, financial worker. <laughs> okay, excellent. And I have a visitor. Ah, this happened yesterday. I'm actually in my children's bedroom and off you go. He's just come in to get some Lego. That's fine. Bye. <laughs> That's one of my children. Yes, I'm on their desk, so... They've just interrupted me again. Sorry. <laughs> Astronaut, football player, financial broker. That's a strange one, Lorenzo. Strange one. A rider, a fireman. Okay, let's see. Doctor. Well, Anna. Anna, you did it. <laughs> Anna's, Anna wanted to be a doctor and now she is. Good job. <laughs> okay, let's look at what we think the top, what they think the top 10 answers would be. So. Number 10 was a singer or a musician, which we did have. Singer, Titi said singer, good. Number nine, a writer. We had writer a few times, I believe. Yes, we did. Uh, number eight, an athlete. There you go, Ilaria, an athlete. <laughs> Forensic, I was hooked with CSI. I love that show. It's still good. I loved it. I loved it and I still love it today. Good. Uh, number seven, doctor. There you go. We had doctor a few times. Perfect. A superhero. That's so true. Yes. Uh, number six, a ballerina. Ah, oh, we didn't have a ballerina. Nobody said ballerina, I don't think. There you go. Number five, a chef. Yes, I would have loved to have been a chef. I really enjoy cooking. Number four, a firefighter. There we had firefighter a few times. Many people, there. Vero89 said fireman. So there you go. Number three, astronaut. We had astronaut a few times. Perfect. Number two, an actor, of course, somebody famous. And number one, a teacher. Ah, that's me. <laughs> a teacher. Yeah, very good. I, I wanted to be a police officer and it's not on the list so similar to firefighter police officer it's kind of in the same category kind of uh, same but different ballerina is like an italian not dancer uh we uh ballerina would be like for the ballet 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 so like on your toes with the fancy dress and they turn around. <laughs> I'm not a ballerina. Yeah, uh, we, ballerina is actually uh, translates to dancer, but ballerina in English would be just for ballet, so classical. Yes, it's a tricky one. It's another tricky word that we've used in English and changed it a little bit, excuse me. Okay, moving on. My childhood. Match the phrases on the left to their meanings. Okay, so these are special phrases relating to childhood. 
By the way, what do you think childhood is? How old are we when we finish our childhood? What what ages do, is childhood considered? What do you think? Because I was curious. Maybe it means different things to different people. I was thinking uh, from birth to adolescence. So mm, from birth until 15, 16, 17, 18. Depends. Depends. Mm, 18, yeah. Definitely. I wanted to be a... Uh, Gabriella wanted to be a dancer and she's a teacher now. There we go. You think, so Vero, you think 12 or 13, you finish being a child. Mm, I think it's a little bit later. I think when you're starting to become an adult, when you're at the age of 12 or 13, I think you're still a child. So that's still childhood. So I'm going to say from birth to adolescence. So adolescence is different in uh, for for different people it's a different different age so yeah 15 could be 15 could be 16 could be 17 for some people it could be 30 no 30 no that's a joke sorry yeah 16 to 18 perfect great childhood okay let's match these so we have throw tantrums get into trouble be a picky eater be told off share your toys, look up to, not not literally, but we'll talk about that later, and make fun of. So we have be reprimanded by an adult, cry and roll around on the floor, uh, ridicule or laugh, be fussy about food. Somebody tell me what fussy means in the chat if you can. What is fussy? What does fussy mean? Uh, to re respect or to admire, to allow other kids to touch your things, and to suffer punishment for doing wrong. So let's match the first one. Throw tantrums. Yes, yes, great. Okay, perfect. Christina. So to be a picky eater about food. So you're yeah, <laughs> you've, you've already matched it up. Good, perfect. So fussy is just you're uh, not easily pleased. You're not easily pleased or you have very high standards about peculiar or particular things. Fussy. Mm. Okay, throw tantrums. Cry and roll around on the floor. Perfect, Alessandro, very good. Then get into trouble. Get into trouble? Get into trouble. What could that be? Get into trouble. Throw tantrums, cry and roll around on the floor. Correct. Get into trouble. What do you think? Uh, suffer punishment for doing wrong. Yes. Suffer punishment. Great job, Alessandro. Perfect. Good. Uh, be a picky eater. Oh, we had that one. Somebody already told me. Fussy, that's right. Be fussy about food. Okay. To be told off. To be told off is be reprimanded by an adult. So uh, the word reprimand is kind of a formal disapproval. Be reprimanded by an adult. You're told off. You're reprimanded. Somebody disapproves of what you've done or what you've said. To share your toys, share your toys, which my children do not like to do. <laughs> ah. Yes, Isabella, be told off, be reprimanded, perfect. Share your toys, what could that be? Yes. Excellent. To allow other kids to touch your things, of course. It's a big lesson to learn in your childhood to be uh, able to share. Big lesson. <laughs> kids do not like to share. Look up to. Look up to. Perfect. Anna. Perfect. To 
respect or admire someone, excellent. And make fun of has to be ridicule or laugh at. That's the last one there. So can we use these in sentences? Can anyone use any of these in sentences? Who can use be a picky eater in a sentence? Good, good, good. For example, <laughs> I was a picky eater. I was a picky eater because I didn't like to eat anything that was green when I was a child. Or in my childhood, I was a picky eater because I didn't like to eat anything that was green. Uh, I never wanted to share my toys. Never, 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 never. <laughs> or I used to throw tantrums often, uh, usually on the kitchen floor. <laughs> yes, I remember that. So if you can use them in a sentence, just one, one example. <laughs> yeah, green food is not, not friendly for children. We are three sisters, so we had to share our toys, Vero. Very good. I never was, I was never a picky eater. No? You like everything? <laughs> I wish my children were not picky eaters, but they really are. Yes. For example, if you make, if I make meatballs and put some coriander inside, something green, they'll find it. They dig through their food to find what's wrong. They'll find something wrong every single time. <sighs> Great. <laughs> okay, let's move on from this. You can continue giving me your examples as you like. Used to and would. Here we have something interesting. We can use used to in the past to talk about something that was true but isn't true anymore. I used to be blonde, now I'm a redhead. Good, uh, Isabella says, I used to share and to present all my toys. Wow, okay. <laughs> so you were very good at sharing, good. Uh, we can use used to or would in the past to talk about habitual actions, example, I used to go to this open air cinema with my boyfriend. We would cuddle and eat popcorn. Somebody give me the uh, definition of cuddle if you can, because that's an interesting word. What does cuddle mean? And wood is usually nostalgic, something that you miss from your childhood. It makes you feel warm inside when you think about it. Ah. Oh. We would walk along the beach at sunset without a care in the world. Okay, so would we know is a modal verb. So would plus the bare infinitive. So no to snuggle, exactly, snuggle. <laughs> yeah, cuddle, snuggle, hug, just be close to one another, very good. And used to is also with the bare infinitive. So with these two, you wouldn't use a present continuous afterwards. You wouldn't use a past simple verb afterwards. It's the bare infinitive here because we already have two and the bare infinitive after would because would is a modal verb and we know that after every modal verb, we use the bare infinitive. So who can create phrases for these? So a phrase for used to when I was young, I used to, ah, I used to be good at IT, Christina. Great, very good. Uh, so here used to is for something that was true but isn't true anymore. So for example, what did I write? I used, ah, yes, I used to have long hair, but now I have short hair because I cut all of my hair off. Yes, I did. Uh, then the second one, used to or would to talk about habitual actions. Uh, I used to visit my grandparents in the mountains. My nan would make my favorite meal just for me. And we did that often. Yeah, it was 
maybe 10 times a year. She lived two hours away from us in the mountains by Sydney. Yeah, so I used to visit my grandparents often in the mountains. My nan would make my favorite meal, which was lamb. Uh, Fabio says, when I was young, I used to play with my friends at the park. Very good. And Gabriella says, I used to be very jealous of my ideas. What do you mean by your ideas, Gabriella? I'm a bit confused there. Lorenzo says, I used to play a lot of sport, but now I'm a hard worker. So you don't play sport anymore. Anna Peruzza says, I used to play in open air during, ah, during the day or just all day with no during. I used to play in the open air during the day or without during and all day. Titi says, when I was a child, I would go to my grandparents, but now I can't. Mm, neither can I. I cannot go because they're in a different country. <laughs> yes. What about wood? When can we use wood? Wood is for something nostalgic. So it's something that we, we really miss. We really miss from our childhood. Uh, so Gabriella, for example, new game or drawing. Okay, okay. Maria Dani says, I used to have long hair. Me too, me too, me too. <laughs> I would collect panini stickers, Alessandro. What are panini stickers? Panini stickers. I don't know what they are, but sure, okay. <laughs> Isabella says, when I was a child, I used to cut my own hair. <gasps> Horrible and funny at the same time. Yes. My, when I was young, my mother used to cut my hair. And one time uh, she wanted to cut a fringe here, right? A fringe is this bit. So have, have hair down to here. But my sister said, no, and she put her hand here. And then my mother cut way up here. So I had this tiny little fringe sticking out. It was just horrible. That was a funny childhood memory. <laughs> so use wood. Who can use wood in a sentence for nostalgic memories? I would, ah, my grandmother would cook a traditional roast most Sundays, which was delicious. And I can remember, the, I'm thinking about the smell right now. Anna says, I would spend my holiday time with my cousins from Rome. Perfect. Fabio says, I would spend a lot of time, okay, at, at my gran, grandma's house. You have to say at my grandma's house. Lorenzo says, I would meet my friends in front of a big beer. What's the big beer? A big beer? I'm a bit confused by that one. I would have a, I, I had, okay, here I had a big garden. We, when I used to have a big garden because when we're using wood, we want to talk about when we did it. We would walk along the beach without a care in the world. We want to give more details, more details. I would play with my Barbies collection. Maria says this. Uh, Alessandro, the panini stickers are pictures oh, of football players. Okay, I understand. Christina's telling me to. Panini stickers were images to put on an album. Okay, okay, I understand now. Yes, I think we had similar things in Australia. Uh, my dad would help me practice throwing and catching a baseball. Uh, he would come to all of my games. Yes, so that makes me nostalgic. I miss being able to play baseball and have my parents watch. That was nice. Okay, so we use use to to talk about past events, which we no longer do. We only use it to talk about the past. There is no similar expression for the present. I studied French, but I don't anymore. I used to study French, used to. In the past, I smoked, but I don't now. I used to smoke, yes? Now, after used to, we always use the infinitive, always. Never use a continuous or past tense verb. So I used to smoke, great. I used to smoking, no. 
I used to smoked? No. Yes, just the, just the infinitive. Uh, we're going to move on to asking questions with used to and would. Oh, Isabella says, I would build Barbie's house, houses, houses. Alessandro, but we can't use wood with stativers. One second. No. So are there, Fabio says, so are there no difference, is there no difference between wood and used to? Uh, when there's the three definitions here, we use used to only to talk about something that is true but isn't true anymore, okay? Used to or would to talk about past habitual actions, okay? But would is when we are really talking about something that we miss, we miss truly. Difference um, in using would instead of used to. We use would when we want to talk about how often a past habit happened also. It can have the same meaning as used to. For example, I used to go swimming twice a week or I would go swimming twice a week. That's the, fun that's the same. Both of these sentences have the same meaning. Uh, we can use would instead of used to when a time is mentioned. When I was young, I used to visit my grandmother every summer. When I was young, I would visit my grandmother every summer. Both of these sentences have the same meaning. And if the sentence is not about a repeating habit or action or does not include a time expression, we cannot use would, for example. I used to play piano. We can't use would there. I would play piano. No. It's more natural to say, I used to play piano. I would practice every day. Yes? Good. Let's go to asking questions. Asking questions. Uh, create my childhood, sorry. Create questions for other students using used to or would. Did you used to throw tantrums? As a child, would you share your toys with the other children? Uh, so throw tantrums, get into trouble, be a picky eater, look up to, make fun of, share your toys or be told off. So what questions can you think? You can use used to or would or past simple like were you, were you, you a picky eater as a child? Yeah. So who can think of questions? Make note that when we're using, when we're creating questions with used to or would, the used turns into use, used to. Used to, used to turns to use to. Uh, for example, we usually use did when we ask about past habits the typical question formation is did you used to watch mickey mouse did you used to like school question yeah used to is used in the question form not used to so used to not used to who can create questions who can create questions uh, did you uh, look up to, did you used to look up to somebody as a child? Used to look up to anybody as a child, for example? Can you create any questions? Any questions? Anybody? Anyone? <laughs> Did you used to look up to older friends? Exactly, perfect. Uh, probably. I, I used to look up to my sisters because they are both older than me. <laughs> Did they used to throw? Well, they, let me think. Gabriella said, Did they used to throw tantrums? I'm going to say they would be my sisters, and yes, they did. <laughs> Isabella says, did you used to be told off often because I was a bit naughty and good? Uh, Maria, oh, yes. 
Maria says, did you used to play with Lego? I loved Lego. I had a big box of Lego, big box of Lego. Good. More questions, more questions. I like this. When I was a child, Alessandro says, when I was a child, I used to look up to my best friend. Good. So the question would be, would be there, did you used to look up to somebody as a child or, yeah, as a child? And Alisa says, did you used to get into trouble? Did you used to, oh, yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Often. Any other questions? Any other questions? <laughs> Anything else? I'm gonna put that up there, good. Fabio, would you make fun of someone? Oh. Or maybe here, would you make fun of someone? Did you used to make fun of someone? Makes more sense. Did you, Fabio, would you make fun of someone? Did, Lorenzo says, did you used to steal the candy? Yes, any chance that I could get because my mother never kept candy in the house. So whenever there was candy, I would steal the candy. Yeah. Alessandro, did you used to look up to someone? Perfect, great. Gabriella, did we used to, did we used to look up to other children? Did they, did they used to look up? Ilaria says, did you used to play Hide and seek, actually hide, hide and seek. And yes, I used to play hide and seek. I loved hide and seek, great. You've spelt hide like Hyde Park. <laughs> yeah, good. Anything else? Anything else? Okay, Christina says, did you used to play any instruments? Yes, I still do. <laughs> I played uh, clarinet and saxophone. Yes, good. Isabella says, did you used to collect something? Um, oh, I guess I used to collect stamps, but I really wasn't very enthusiastic about it. Good, good, good. Okay, let's move on from this because that's been, that's not. <laughs> very good questions, very good. Oh, sorry. How I've changed here. Talk about how you have changed since you were a child or teenager. Think about appearance. I used to have curly hair, now I have straight hair. So something that was true in the past, but now it's not true anymore. We use used to. Think about tastes. I didn't used to eat meat, but now I do. Or character habits or fears. I used to be shy, but now I'm outgoing. Okay, so as I said before, I used to have long hair, but now I have fairly short hair, yes. Uh, tastes. Oh, I didn't used to eat onions but now I do. So I used to hate onions, but now I love onions. Weird, because onions are delicious to me now. Strange how you change over time. Uh, habits, fears. I used to be afraid of spiders, but now they're fine. I think they're fine. I leave them alone. Yeah. Anybody play hide and seek? Oh, Alessandro has asked a question. Play hide and seek or play? No, just play hide and seek. Play hide and seek. There. Hide and seek. Good. No, no at. We don't need at there. Used to can be used with both dynamic and static verbs. Yes. Whereas would can really only be used with dynamic action verbs. Lorenzo says, I didn't, ah, spinach is a big one. I didn't used to eat spinach, but now I love it. I think every child hates spinach, no? It's kind of a rule or a, it's kind of constant. Everybody, every kid does not like or appreciate spinach. 
I, Annalisa, I used to have short and pink hair. Well, now I have long and blonde hair. Pink hair, that's nice. Yeah, excellent. And Fabio says, I used to play football, but now I prefer boxing. Okay, good. Anything else? Anybody else? You can keep on going. We'll, we'll move on to the last slide. Uh, my favorite memory. What is your favorite childhood memory? Describe a specific memory from your childhood. It could be a special day, a holiday, or a memorable moment. Tell us how you felt at the time. Okay. Do you feel nostalgic? And was it a regular activity? Use wood. We use wood when we're feeling nostalgic. So that's why they've said use wood. Uh, my favorite childhood memory would be when I, uh, when we used to go camping every, every, every holiday time. So at Easter, at Christmas, and we would go swimming every day. We would ride our bikes around the park. We would ride our bikes around the park every day. Uh, we used to go snorkeling and I just felt completely free when we would go camping. It was a, it was a great memory. Isabella, I, Isabella says, I used to wear only black clothes, but now I love lively colors. Very nice. Ilaria says, I used to do fencing. <gasps> I was European champion in 2008, but now I practice long jump. <laughs> That's impressive. And Christina says, I didn't used to play sports. Now I used to, uh, mm, we have a few problems here. So when we're using did or didn't, we have to have used to. Didn't, you would say used to. I didn't used to play sports. Now I walk every day. You don't use it twice, yes? So in the first half of the sentence, you're showing me what you didn't used to do. But now, because you say now, you're referring to the present. Remember, used to and, uh, what is it, would, uh, we're speaking about the past. So we can't use now I used to, because now means now, it's the present tense. Used to and would are speaking about the past. When there's did or didn't, it would be used to. Mm -hmm. No problems, no problems. So I didn't used to play sports. Now I walk every day or I enjoy walking every day, for example. Good. Anything? Oh, Maria Dani says, I would play piano every day. Ah, oh, it's a nostalgic memory. Perfect. Yeah, so again, use two for past habits. Uh, to talk about past events which we no longer do. Uh, we have to use the infinitive, never use a continuous or past tense verb, yes. When we're asking questions, or well, the typical form is with did, and then you say used to, not used to. Anna Peruzza, I used to eat a lot of sweets, but now I try to avoid cakes and sweets. <laughs> Good for you. Good. Uh, answering questions, you can either answer questions like, did you used to wear a school uniform? Yes, I used to wear a uniform or I didn't used to wear a uniform. Again, if there's did or didn't, it's used to, not used to. And we can use would or used to in uh, both in similar ways when we're talking about a past habit. Ooh, Isabella says, I would draw for long hours. When we're talking about past habits, so I used to go swimming twice a week or I would go swimming twice a week. They mean the same thing. Past habits, you can use used to or would. And then would specifically for nostalgic memories that make you feel like you miss your childhood, okay? Let's also remember the meaning, the definition, sorry, of all of these guys, the phrases for childhood. 
Fabio says, and for the present, what can we use? And we don't, there's nothing similar to used to because used to is only in the past. It's only for the past. You don't talk about memories from the present. Hmm? Can you speak about memories from the present? It doesn't really make sense. Hmm? <laughs> Uh, Lorenzo, I would play weird games with my brother in our grandparents' garden. Very nice. And Gabriella says, I used to eat an ice cream after school, but now I can't eat sugar. Remember an because there's a vowel ice cream. Okay. Remember our used to, used to uses, and remember our phrases that we looked at today. That is the end of our webinar, but there will be plenty more coming next week. So stay tuned. My name is Liz. I'm from Mayas Livorno. Nice to have you this morning and have a nice lunch. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye.